I don't think I like it. Oh my god, it's I just got a bite of vodka. I feel ill. <laughs> do like a video trying lip glosses and clothing but is there actually anything better than doing a video where you're just eating like pizza and cookies i don't think there is we are back with another trying rating blind taste testing youtuber food brand this might be the most exciting one that we've done we just got back from dobrix and i am dying to try this pizza. These are all entirely unsolicited opinions from someone who has the palate of an eight-year-old. And I'm gonna be ranking these food and beverages on a scale of one to 10 on just simply do I like them? These brands are all absolute powerhouses, so I have high expectations. I had a small breakfast in anticipation for mostly pizza, and um, I, I'm so excited. Okay, let me just move all the shit so we can start eating some pizza. Okay, Dobrik's. David Dobrik's new pizza shop in West Hollywood. We went around lunchtime. Parking was absolute ass, but there was luckily no line. The pizza flavors that we have are vodka, which I'm very excited about. It genuinely just kind of looks like a big ass cheesy bread, which honestly, like what could possibly go wrong there? And then this is a full pie of just classic traditional pepperoni. These are both in the doughy style. Um, I wanted to try Tavern, but I don't think they're offering it yet. There are just pools of grease in these pepperonis. Typically I gravitate towards a thin crust and this is very much not a thin crust, but I'm excited. Oh shit. Wow, this is so good. Oh my God. I would say like, I don't taste a crazy amount of vodka, but it's just like a super cheesy, garlicky, thick ass cheesy bread. And the crust, it looks like it's gonna be crunchy. I love a cheesy crunch. It doesn't really feel like pizza to be honest to me, but overall, I definitely should have taken a lactate before we started this video. I will be facing the consequences of these decisions later on. This is good. I just got a uh, bite of vodka that was like more vodka-y than the rest of it. And this is so good. They give a cheese pizza, a cheesy garlic bread, and a little bit of like pasta with vodka sauce all had a bebe. It would be this. So the pizza style that I think it's most easily compared to is Prince Street Pizza, which is huge in New York. And so price-wise comparison, it is a few dollars cheaper by slice and whole pie compared to Prince Street. So honestly, so far, this is a 10. The amount of grease, ready for this, this grease strip? Mmm, <laughs> good pepperoni though, she thick. Something is like sweet. I think it might be something in the pepperonis, but it's got such a good mixture and combo of like sweet, but like a little spicy, like a little bit of a kick. I also, on top of having the palate of an eight-year-old, I'm an absolute spice whim. So this probably is not actually spicy at all, but there's just like a little hint of a kick and a little hint of my pores opening in response to a tiny bit of spice. But like, Damn, I was worried. I feel like when you hear the words doughy, you're like, oh, this is gonna be like undercooked on the inside. This is just like airy on the inside without like being too heavy, I guess. This is an excellent pepperoni. I feel like that really does make the difference. I was nervous that I was gonna be let down, to be completely honest. And then I was worried that the stands were gonna come for me, but this is good. I approve. Would I stand in a massive line alongside a bunch of fans for this pizza? No, but like, is this a really solid pizza with great branding? Absolutely. There is definitely a little bit of spice. My tongue is like <laughs> I can't decide which one I like better, but across the board, is 10 too crazy to start the video off? I think my expectations were so low and this is like so solid that I'm like, oh shit, this is really good. Let's go 9-8 for the sake of not being crazy for the first rating of the video. I feel like another solid indicator, like would I order this if it would be delivered to my house through Postmates or DoorDash? Yes. A win. Nothing like washing down some cheesy, greasy pizza with some vegan chocolate chip cookies. My stomach, like the chances of me being okay for the rest of the day are very low. So we've done a blind taste test with the Mr. Beast Feastables chocolate bars and they were good. They were pretty good. New product, we've got plant-based, gluten-free chocolate chip 
cookies. Gonna be honest, I'm the kind of person that like, if I'm gonna eat a chocolate chip cookie, like it's gonna be just a full send of just like a regular chocolate chip cookie. Totally get that if you've got dietary restrictions that like this is the best option and they taste great. Like I love that for you. Vegan cookies when you don't have to eat vegan are sometimes a little bit funky. And so I'm really curious to see if I think that this was the move for him. So again, blind taste test, I don't know which one is the Mr. Beast cookie. What I do know are all three of these cookies are plant-based, vegan, gluten-free, chocolate chip cookies. Appearance-wise, these look the most normal. This looks like a cookie ball that's made from like very natural ingredients, again, vegan situation, I know that things are obviously a little more natural. These look a little bit undercooked, which when it comes to like one of those Pillsbury sugar cookies is exactly how I like them. So I do have a little bit of like a, a draw towards these ones. Do they look a little turdy? A little bit, yes, so do these ones, but I think it's just like a brown cookie situation. I am cutting them. I promise I don't eat cookies like this with a knife on a regular basis, but I also am not trying to have chocolate smeared on my teeth the rest of the video. Here we go. This just tastes like it's just, like ingredients were just mushed together. Like it doesn't feel like there was any like oven baking situation in the process of making it. Okay, hang on, hang on though. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not really giving cookie, but I don't hate it. Like, would I eat more than that? Probably not, but it's not bad. Like, it's not offensive. I honestly would just be so surprised if Mr. Beast made a cookie like this that just feels like, when I say granola, I don't mean like literal granola. I mean like granola energy. These are really like crispy, which I think was the part of the branding for them. So I'll put a chocolate chip on top of the... <laughs> the <laughs> oh! Mmm. Oh, this one's good. Significantly better than this one. This one is really good. It reminds me a lot of like, um, what's the, 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 uh, uh like a bread, what's the bread of a s'more? Uh, graham cracker. A graham cracker. <laughs> bread of a s'more. It tastes like graham cracker, but with chocolate on it. A little concerned about the lack of chocolate chips in the rest of the cookie. Like, I think there might've literally only been three chocolate chips in that whole cookie, which is honestly just a little bit inexcusable, but taste wise, that was quite delicious. Okay, last one. Quite soft. Here we go. There's an unidentifiable flavor in here. I don't think I like it. What is that? It's so hard having like six taste buds total and like not knowing what things taste like. There's a flavor in here that I don't like, but the texture is really good. This is the crispiest cookie. This is like medium and this is just like raw ingredients mashed together. Taste wise, this one is for sure the best. And then honestly, because there's something in, I can't figure out what that flavor is. It's not for me, but I think it's a specific flavor thing. This one, I is not for me. I think to be honest, it's a little offensive to the cookie community that this is called a cookie because I don't think that at any point this was baked. Based on the picture, my best guess would be this one. And listen, branding, you know, maybe the picture is entirely not a representation of the cookie. But I would say either one of these two are Mr. Beast. On your right is is Mr. Beast? Yep. What is this flavor? I can't figure out what it is. Anyways, not for me, but I think a solid cookie. This one though, for a vegan, gluten-free, all of the granola person things, this is a wonderful cookie. For Mr. Beast specifically, I think the cookie for me would be about a five out of 10, but I know we ranked the bars much higher. And so I think the Feastable bars for me, the cookies, Maybe not for me. Nothing like washing some cookies down with <laughs> some. Well, you know what? No, it's not. It's not sugary. Apparently, there's zero sugar in it. But just with some uh, strongly sugar adjacent energy drinks. <laughs> I'm actually really excited to try these. I am an absolute hoe for both Celsius and Lani New. I drink probably one every other day and they are like key to my actual survival. So I'm really excited about these. One of the things that I always joke about specifically with Alani New because they're so delicious is just like, what the f is in an Alani New to make it taste that good when it's zero sugar? And like, I think that I actually maybe don't wanna know the answer to it. But with Prime, I think a big part of the natural sweetness is because there's coconut water involved in this process somewhere, which may also be tied to why the price point is a little bit higher. So just based on a 12 pack, on a per can price comparison, Alani New and Celsius both come in at about $2 a can and Prime a little bit closer to $2.50. So we've got 
tropical punch, strawberry watermelon, orange mango, and we've got lemon lime. Okay, here we go. Orange mango. That is quite delicious and refreshing. Ooh, yeah, I'm a fan. This tastes a lot like the mimosa Alani New, but with like a little mango twist, which is truly delicious. I'm not much of a lemon lime girly, so we'll see how we feel about this one. Wow, that tastes shockingly like a spray, but a little bit syrupy. I feel ill. <laughs> Strawberry watermelon. Oh, that one's not for me. For whatever reason, this like gives me bubblegum vibes. It's tasty, but just like a little, a little bubble, 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 bubble glummy, bubble glummy for me. Tropical punch. I mean, listen, these all are accurately titled and named for the flavor that they are. I would say orange mango by far is my favorite, just based on personal preference. Now that I've tasted all of them, nine, seven, six, six. But honestly, like, they're all good. And I go through phases between Alani New and Celsius and now probably Prime in my rotation for flavors. I burp. Oh my god, there's like a carbonation bubble in my chest. <laughs> there we go, it happened. This is a win. It's a great product. The branding is so strong. Obviously, Logan and KSI are absolutely crushing it. And I think this is a really smart addition to their product line. And I don't think it's a big enough price point that I would ever be discouraged from buying a case. I now have four times 12 of these. So I will be working my way through these, specifically the orange mango. That one is and a month full of losses for Logan Paul. Here is a nice win for him. It's been a rough month for LP. Super excited to follow up my energy drinks with a chocolate protein shake. I am truly so excited to try Cassie's new protein powder. This is the Sculpt and Deep Bloat protein powder with probiotics in the flavor chocolate shake. I, amongst all of my other food intolerances, my stomach just doesn't bode well with whey-based protein. So having another option that's plant-based for me is truly so incredible and I'm very excited. My typical protein shake uh, blend combination are some frozen strawberries, a chocolate plant-based protein powder, some ice, and then and some kind of chocolate milk, whether it be uh, chocolate soy milk, lactose-free, or oat milk. I've got equal serving size in both of these, and price point-wise, the Blogilates protein powder is definitely on par with a lot of the competitor products, and I love that there's probiotics in it, and if it tastes great, a bitch is down. And genuinely, like, Cassie is absolutely crushing it. They are dominating in Target, and I personally am keeping the PopFlex apparel brand going because I basically have one of everything, in each color. Okay, so I'm gonna add a few strawberry I'm gonna add a few strawberries to each of these. Typically, it would be a little more strawberry heavy, but I don't want it to overpower the actual flavor of the protein powders that we are comparing. Okay, these have been anonymously labeled and scooted around a bunch, so I don't know which one's pink and which one's blue straw. Okay, here we go. Okay, chocolate protein-y. This one definitely tastes sweeter and chocolatier, which I think if like that's what you're looking for, like for me, I want like the most flavor in the face. This one's just a little bit bland. All right, final thoughts. Now that I have a minor brain freeze is that this one is definitely a little grittier, just like a little more like that texture. Like if you know what that feels like in your mouth, that's exactly what it feels like and it's a little more bland. This one is definitely like a stronger and more powerful flavor. Oh my god. Oh my god. The chocolatey of this is like so solid. Would drink, but enjoy more for sure. Like if I didn't have the better one to compare, I'd just be like, oh, whatever. This is like a chocolate protein shake with strawberries. But this one is like actually enjoyable. The pink straw is a Thank God! I was like, please, Cassie, please, please, please. Honestly, she just doesn't miss. I message her every time she launches something and I'm like, bitch, you just don't miss. This may be a little biased, but I'm gonna go 10 out of 10 for Cassie. This truly was the superior product 100% of the way through. I also just love Cassie, 10 out of 10. I will be nursing this water for the next few hours as my stomach tries to decide what the f to do with all the things that I just put in it in a short amount of time. A lot going on. We've got protein, we've got caffeine, we've got a lot of dairy, much more dairy than anticipated. I'm gonna be fine. It's gonna be great, and I think that this will produce an excellent nap. That
that's it for this video. Please let me know if there are more YouTuber brands or food products that you'd like me to try. I will leave a link to some of the other videos where we've been trying YouTuber brands and rating and ranking them. Hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you for a new episode of Wild to Nine over on the podcast channel and also over on the vlog channel. Bye guys.